Mr. Dispenser! Hello everyone, Mr. Spencer here. If you ever played TF2, you might have heard the quote WM1 or No aim, no brain, must be a pyro main. People seem to really dislike pyro for some reason, but why is it so? This is the topic of today's video. We will take a closer look at one of my least played classes and make an analysis about this maniac and his most hated weapons. Before we start, quick advertisement for my Discord. It's a perfect place to hang out with me and the fellow Mr. Spencer fanbase. So don't forget to join, link is down in the description below. Alright, let's start with the video. For some reason, Pyro is the only class that gets all the hate if he's only using his primary weapon. But why is it so? If you look at Heavy, he also only has to use one mouse button to fire and shoot, and even Medic has a bit of an M1 habit with his needle gun. Okay, you can argue that Heavy's melee gun is taking longer to wrap up, and that the Medic shouldn't use needles at all, but still, the only class that gets all the hate for using its primary weapon is Pyro. One thing I have to give the WM1 haters is that TF2 is designed to have close quarters and small flank routes. Pyro can kill you way easier if the room is small and that makes him especially powerful on older maps that are way smaller in comparison, for example Dust Bowl or Gold Rush. Pyro is deadly with his flames if he can hit you by surprise, but at the same time, same deal for Heavy, Spy, Scout or to be honest every other class. If you can catch them off guard, you will kill them. And as I said, Pyro is very close range, so the flamethrower doesn't have a lot of range. Pyro is in my opinion a class that punishes players if they get too close. Kinda like the heavy, but in a bit of a different way. If you stay away from the Pyro, he literally has no chance in killing you, if he's only using M1 of course. So Mr. Spencer's tip against WM1 Pyros, just stay out of the range and you can kill them very easily. Oh boy, now my favorite topic of Pyro, the Phlogistinator. I put this topic relatively at the beginning of the video because I know this is going to be a spicy one. Simply because I'm kinda based against it. Is the Flog balanced you ask? Okay, here we go. The Flog is balanced in a twisted way. Okay, okay, don't get angry, I just say this much. Of course it's not 100% balanced, I wish it would be a bit different, but it's not as overpowered as people say. It's like not the big destroyer of TF2 as many people think. Yes, it is strong, and paired with a medic, you can be an unstoppable force. But to be honest, I've managed to shut down way more flog powers than I can count. The uber certainly helps the flog to be viable, and to be fair, every class is better with a pocket medic. If this mechanic of the oomph were not in the game, the flog would basically be pretty shitty. People forget that you have to taunt, and taunts can take ages if you stand still in the middle of a fight. And yes, you get ubered, but if you have enough game sense, you can basically predict when the taunt is over and kill the pyro then. But I can give you that, I think crits are too much. Mini crits would be fine. It happened too many times that a flock pirate comes around the corner and kills you in less than a second. Whenever I'm killed like that, I wish there was like a timer if you could see how quick an enemy killed you, because I swear to god this has to be less than a second. Given pyro guaranteed crits is too powerful. Yes, there are classes that also get crits for doing their job, like the spy with the diamond bag or the engine with the frontier justice. But still, I think these weapons are better balanced than a flog. You need to have a decent amount of kills with your sentry to be effective with the frontier justice, and aiming with the revolver is also not the most easiest task of all time. Also, if you miss a shot, your crit is gone, but with the flog, the crits still continue. I think the flog needs a downgrade. The downside of no air blast is of course pretty strong, but the guaranteed crits are just too powerful for a pyro to have, so I think mini crits would be better. Alright, the score shot is next. Oh boy, next controversial weapon, woohoo! Anyway, to be honest, it's more annoying than powerful, especially if you play with low HP classes like Spy or Scout. You basically have to have a small health pack, medic or dispenser nearby that can be very disrupting of the gameplay of owning the other team. I think it's more the slow fire damage that makes people angry because it chips away your health second by second. And if I'm completely honest, I'm also not the biggest fan of it. I think the way the detonator functions is way better. Also, why does the fire damage give oomph on the flog? If I would nerf the flog, I would also get rid of that, to be honest. It's just too easy to set people on fire and farm mini crits. The best way I could describe this weapon is a pesky mosquito. It annoys, but ultimately it doesn't kill you. 
How would I balance this weapon then? It's a hard choice, but I would keep the mini crits. I would simply get rid of two stats. Reload when not active and the knockback when hit. I hate stun mechanics in games, so let's get rid of that. And the automatic reload makes the weapon a bit too powerful and spammable combined with the degreaser. Also, why does the taunt kill not insta kill? It's like the best looking taunt kill ever. My god, this weapon. The last weapon that I want to look at is the stock flamethrower, because I kinda want to talk about the flame mechanics combined with the flamethrower in the game. It's nothing inherently wrong as I said with the flamethrower, but with the flames itself. The main argument that I have with Pyro is that I cannot stand the fire texture in the game. The main reason why I always slip into panic when fighting Pyros is because I cannot see anything. How is this any fair? I always feel robbed. It's the same reason I think why people despise WM1 this much. If the flames would just be a bit translucent, I could at least see my opponent. I could better swoop in and secure the kill. But now, it's just a giant firewall of flames. I cannot fight against this, I cannot know where to shoot. And ultimately, that brings around a lot of frustrations. All in all, I don't think Pyro and Double in one is the unbalanced monster that makes so many people claim the class to be. I actually think that Pyro is on the weaker side of classes in TF2. He is in this awkward position where you cannot really tell what he is for. For flanking, he is too slow. For area denial, he has too much short range damage. That for example, a heavy can out damage it every time. Is Pyro overpowered then? No, he just needs to find his place. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and join my discord. Hope to see you next time and hope you have a wonderful day. Mr. Spencer out.